ओके सो वेरी गुड सो लास्ट टाइम वी स्टडीड अबाउट एंटी क्राइस्ट पार्ट थ्री वे वी स्टडीड दैट जीसस रेफर्स अस टू रीड द बुक ऑफ डैनियल एंड अंडरस्टैंड मोर अबाउट एंटी क्राइस्ट सो लास्ट टाइम वी स्टडीड अबाउट दैट वन इन डैनियल सेवन चैप्टर वेर इट इज गिवन यू सी द सेवन चैप्टर ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ वर्स वेर इट सेज the ten uh, horns are the ten kings uh, and uh, before which uh, three horns fell and a small horn began to grow which had uh, eyes of a man and a uh, uh, mouth speaking uh, great words so we also saw the meaning of it uh, it's given that uh, uh, this is a false claims uh, which uh, done by the papacy where this was clearly says in uh, daniel 7 uh, 24 and 25 that they began to change the times and laws uh, in god's uh, words so how did they change if we see uh, they changed uh, the brought idol worship they changed the ten commandments uh, they put uh, into christmas and good friday the lord's memorial supper which was supposed to be conducted once a year they began to do it uh, every now and then and about the easter and the easter eggs and uh, all souls day and all saints day while the bible says that uh, Uh, only the consecrated are the saints uh, and all christians who believe in christ are all uh, saints so only particular people were uh, you see beatified as saints uh, and uh, souls uh, die that's what the bible say but uh, they go and worship the, the dead souls so and uh, doing some mary's feast uh, and other rituals uh, offering prayers and confessions uh, and uh, doing rosary and chanting the same prayer So all these things are totally against from the Bible. This is what the Daniel seven twenty five says that they, they try to change the uh, <clears throat> laws and times of God's words. So one who protested against uh, these one were severely perse- persecuted, and uh, it says that they shall wear out the saints of the Most High. We also saw what type of torture they gave. Physical touches were uh, literally given. and those paintings were done and put on every road corner so that people might fear that uh, uh, this type of torment and torture will be given and they used to also claim that this is the further going to continue in the hell and this is a sample of hell and god had given them the commandment to you see persecute uh, these types uh, and to make them obey god's words so anyway we have studied all these things but uh, the one more special thing about daniel 725 is that it says a particular time into which period this antichrist uh, you see shall rule so let us read that one brother daniel uh, 725 brother please read brother daniel 725 <clears throat> okay daniel 7 verse 25 and he shall speak great words against the most high and shall wear out the send of the most high and think to change times and law, laws and this shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time he, he says they shall be given into him into his hands until time times and half a times so, now what is this time times and half a times if you see in the book of bible especially in the book of daniel and the book of revelation a time always means a year and times means you see plural that means two years and dividing of a time means half year if you have any other translation you can refer that one brother can you read it in nepali how does it come let us see okay brother uh, okay just a moment brother i will hmm. read in nepali hmm ओके आई गट इट उसले सर्वोच्च को विरुद्ध में बोलने और वहाँ का पवित्र जन अत्याचार करने ठहराइ का समय र व्यवस्था फेर्न प्रयत्न करने पवित्र जन साढ़े तीन वर्षसम उसको हाथ में सुंपिने साढ़े तीन वर्ष करेक्ट सो व्हाट इज दिस थ्री एंड हाफ यू सी दिस थ्री एंड हाफ इज नॉट ए लिटल थ्री एंड हाफ इयर्स वही बिकॉज we know that uh, the same three and a half years is again mentioned in the book of revelation you see the same thing about antichrist is also mentioned in the book of revelation okay and this is all symbolic uh, years this is not literal 
three and a half years. Many Christians, they don't even understand how the Bible is written and claim that this three and a half years is literal three and a half years. Sir. No. You see? Now let us see. The same period is mentioned in the book of Revelation in days, in years, and in months. Read, brother. Revelation 12, 6, first. Okay, brother. Revelation 12, 6, right? Mm. And the woman fell into the wilderness where she had a place prepared of God, and they should feed her three thousand two hundred and three scores days. How many days? Three thousand two hundred. Three thousand. Three a thousand. Huh? Two hundred. And... No, 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 no. Read correctly. Three scores days. Ah, no, no. Read from first brother. Read completely. And the woman fell into the wilderness where she had a place prepared of God and they should feed her dear a thousand ah, two hundred no, and yeah. three score days. <laughs> the space yeah. is there between dir and a. Correct? Ah? Yeah. So if you continue to read it, it will become three thousand. <laughs> How many is there? Huh? A thousand, thousand two hundred and sixty days. Correct, brother? Yes, brother. Ah, very good. Now, see, the same period is again mentioned in verse 14 in yearly calculation. Read verse 14. Okay. And to the women were given two wings of a great eagles, eagle, decide that she might fly into the wilderness into her place, where she is nurses. For a time and times and half a time uh -huh. from the face of the serpent. Same time, times, half a time, three and a half years. Now read Revelation 13 5. Brother. Same Karin prayer five, is right? given in number of months. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue 40 and 2 months. Very good, brother. So 42 months. Now let us see. If all things are the same or not, you see, 1260 days eh, and 42 months. If yeah. you divide 1260 days by 42 months, you will get 30 days per a month. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now you tell me, in a year, how many months are there? In a year, 12 months. Very good. So 30 days into 12 months, how much it will come? 30 days into 12 360, months. 365. Very good. Very good. 360. 360. Sometimes. 30 days. Actually, it's 360. Yeah. Correct. Actually, it is 360 only. It will come only 360. You can't put 5 extra. That is Lugorius calendar. What calendar what we are using today? That is yeah. called as Gregorian calendar. Or some other names are also there. Okay. But as per the Bible, the biblical calendar is got 360 days in a year. How much? 360 days. Mm. Now, you take this 360 days and you multiply into three and a half years. How much it will get? 260 mm, days. Huh? Three and a half year, if we multiply, then the days will be 260. Ah, 1260 days. Correct? Huh? Yeah. So that means what? 1260 days is also 42 months. It is also how many years? Three and a half Three years. Three and a half years. So everything is the same. Now, let us see. This is not a literal number of days. That means this has got a symbolic meaning. Why? Because you remember we have studied one subject many, many days before the Gentile times and the uh, Christ first advent, we have seen the subject. I hmm? will send you the YouTube link and the notes. Just go through that one, brother. That one, you see, for a prophet, one day means one year. So, this is a symbolic day. This is a prophecy. Therefore, in the Bible, actually one day is equal to one year. For a prophet, you see, for Jesus, one day means how many years? 
1000 years very good similarly for a prophet it is one year read ezekiel 4 6 brother ha Read with that, Ezekiel 4, 6. And when thou hast accomplished them, lie again on the right side, and thou shalt bear the iniquity of the house of Judah. 40 days, I have appointed thee each day for a year. Very good. Uh, most of it, did you get it? Yeah. Uh, yes, did brother. You, did you observe it? Yeah, 40, 40 days. Uh, I have appointed... Read, read, read. Each day for a year. Ah, very good. Say, so I appointed the each day for a year. Very good. So, if you see, for a prophet, one day means what? One year. So, 1260 days means how many years? One day means one year. Uh, 12,000 years. Huh? One day means one year. Then, 12,000 years. Uh, uh, 1260 years. Very good. You should be very clear. Don't even miss one year. Everything will go and miss out. I'll tell you why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, 1260 days means 1260 years. Okay, brother? Yeah. Ah, now, let us see. This 1260 years, from where did it start and where did it end? See, we should see the period of Antichrist. Correct, no? Now, how do we see the period of Antichrist? Huh? We, we came to know that it is period of 1260 years. Okay. From when did it start and from when it will end? We should see the beginning of it now. So that we can come to know the end of it. Correct now? Yes. Uh, see, for this one, Bible is the clue. For every question, where do we need to seek the answer? From the Bible itself. So, for the Bible, Bible is a dictionary. Now, Bible itself gives us a clue. Where is it given? Read Daniel 7. Daniel 7 chapter, he clearly gives when the Antichrist will grow, will come to power. Daniel 7 chapter, brother. Uh, verse 24, brother. Huh. And, ten thousand, and the ten horns out of his kingdoms are ten kings. That shall arise, and another shall rise after them, and he shall be diverse from the first, and he shall substitute three kings. Ah, you see, you have seen this picture, brother. We have studied this yeah. one in Daniel's second chapter, seven chapter. See, a beast was there upon his head, ten horns were there, three horns fell, and because of the three horns falling. This small horn began to grow its hands. And in this horn itself, there was a eyes of a man and a mouth speaking pompous words. So this uh, little horn having the eyes and mouth is Antichrist. So when did it grow? When the three horns fell. So which are the three horns that fell? If you see in the history, we will come to know that it's, it is Eroli, Eastern Exarchate and Ostrogoths. These are the three horns which were completely uprooted by the, you see, Pope. Because of which the Pope came to supreme power. He assumed both the civil as well as the religious power at this year itself. And when is that year? If you see, that is 539 AD. Okay, 539 AD, the Pope got complete civil as well as religious power and you know the specialty that is the first time that the Lord's Supper the mass was instituted that to be conducted every day till then the mass was not there at all there was no word as mass also it was called as the Lord's Supper they should do only once a year but since that year what happened you know the mass was conducted so if you calculate 1260 years from 539, where do we come? Calculate and see, brother. Had 539 and 1260, brother. Where will we come, brother? 
1799. Very good, brother. We come to 1799. So that is the period of Antichrist. That means from 539 AD to 1799 AD, the great papacy system ruled. Okay, do we have a proof of it? Yes. You know what happened in 1799? You see, Martin, sorry, this is not Martin, this is Napoleon Bonaparte. Okay, this is a typing mirror. Napoleon Bonaparte was arrested. You see, Napoleon Bonaparte arrested Pope Pia VI on August 29, 1799. Until such time, Pope claimed that he had supreme power. He had so much of power that in right hand he had all the blessings of heaven. And in left hand, he had all the curses of hell. If he just lift his left hand and curse anybody, they will all be immediately, you see, they will all be uh, completely, what do you say, uh, dissolved or vanished or, you see, completely they will be destroyed on front of everybody only. That's what the Pope used to claim. You know, when uh, Napoleon Bonaparte came, he told Pope to pay the taxes. And the Pope did not agree to pay the taxes, sir. Then even after so many summons or so many information, the Pope did not agree to pay the tax. And ultimately, Napoleon Bonaparte got fed up and he went to France and arrested the Pope in front of everybody. He took his both hands and handcuffed it. And you see, it uh, was uh, made to be handcuffed behind him. And uh, he made him to be, you see, Rome in entire France. Entire France, he was uh, taken... Uh, and uh, he was paraded and then only people came to know that all the claims of Pope were false. So since then, Pope lost his supreme power and the authority and the control over the people. Since then, you know, in 1719, what happened? Huh? That was the last year of the king's rule on this world. The last king to die was Tipu Sultan. Since then, there's no king at all. And 1719 only, the Bible societies were formed and the Bible began to be published in all over the world. Okay. Now, see, we got the period of the Antichrist. Okay. Now, let us go more and in detail about the Antichrist, about his beast and about his uh, number. Okay. Where is it given? It is given to us in Revelation 13 chapter. Now, let us read Revelation 13 chapter. Brother. Okay. Revelation 13, one brother, please. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horn the crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. Uh, now try to understand this verse. Brother. It says, out of the sea a beast rise. It had having seven headed ships and ten horns in ships, and upon his horns ten crowns. Now read verse 2. Hmm. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power, and his seat and great authority. Very good. He says, the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard. You see, it was like what? To like a leopard. To see, it was just like a leopard. His body was like a leopard. But how was his feet? It seems to His feet was like a bear. And how was the mouth? It was like a... Like what? Mouth like brother. a lion. Very good. And uh, dragon gave the power, it seems to Now, if you observe here, we see four beasts mentioned here. Leopard... Bear, lion, and dragon. Correct now? Yeah. Now, where else we, did you see the four beasts? Where else did we see? Uh, in China, dragon. In China, wa? in Bible, you tell me, brother, I'm asking about Bible. Where did you see the ah. four beasts? Beast. Uh, four yeah, four beasts. Leopard. You didn't see on Revolution no, about the bear. Before that one? Before that one? Uh, uh, listen to the question properly. Yeah. Where did we yeah, study I about? Think, uh, uh, it, is, um, it represents about the God on uh, Isaiah. Where did we study about leopard, bear, lion and dragon? Think. 
Now, did you listen to the question properly? Four beast, lion, leopard, bear, dragon. Where did we read? Just now last we read. Week. Nah. Ah, last week. Yeah. Where, where? Which chapter? On uh, Rebulus on in. In Old Testament, uh, which chapter did we read? Daniel. Ah, Daniel, which chapter? Chapter 7. Very good. See, Daniel 7 chapter, we saw no brother. We saw the, we, did we study this subject? Correct, no? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, so you should think. Correct, no brother? Yes, brother. Ah, see, for Bible, Bible is a dictionary. See, lion is mentioned here. Correct, huh? Yes, ah? brother. Bear is mentioned here. Yeah. Ah, cheetah, leopard is mentioned here. Yeah. A dragon means a ferocious beast. Upon head, it had crow. Ah, Hans, it is mentioned here. It is mentioned here. That means, yeah. eh? but there, the speciality in uh, Revelation 13 chapter is that it is not individually separate, separate beast. A single beast having all yeah. these four attributes. You know, what is this one? This is the papacy system. The papacy system had all the four qualities of these four empires. Okay? Hmm? It had the quality of Babylon. It had the quality of uh, Medo Persia. It had the quality of Greece. It had the quality of Rome also. We'll see how. First of all, you see, huh? Babylon, Medo Persia, Greece, and Rome. Correct? Huh? First, his body was like a what? Revelation 32, his body was like what, brother? Was your mother? You there? But I'm awesome. What's your mother? Hello. What's your mother? Oh, I think he got disconnected. I'll call. I'll call him brother again. I think he will come back. Okay, you call him. Call him, mother. We have studied about this uh, leopard also in Daniel uh, 7 chapter. Correct, no, brother? Yes, brother. Now read Revelation 13 2. How was the beast? Read again. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard. Okay. And wait, his feet to... wait, wait, wait. We'll go one by one. It was like a leopard. Leopard means uh, which kingdom in Daniel 7 chapter? Which kingdom? Uh, kingdom of uh, iron? No, no, no iron. See, the photo and answer, no? Greece. And ah, knowledge. Greece. You see? Correct, no? The third beast was like a, uh, a leopard with four heads and the wings of an eagle. Yeah. So, that represents the Greece. Now, who was the first emperor of Greece? Tell me. He was a very great person. Uh, I think um, huh. my item. I just. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. Okay. His name starts from alphabet A. Huh? Uh, alphabet A, right? Huh. He, he conquered the whole world in a very short span of life. Athens? Huh? Athens? Yetana. Huh? What's his name? I'll give you one more clue. His name is Alex. Alexander? Ah. Alexander. Uh, he, was, he was from the Greek. He was from Greek. He was the, ah. Greek, the first emperor of Greece. Yeah. Hmm. You soon forgot the, the notes which I sent you. <laughs> huh? I'm sorry, sir. Okay, no problem. See, I, 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 can... I know about the Alexander, right? But I, I was not uh, aware that uh, he's from the Greek. I, I don't. 
Okay, we took Good it in Daniel sure. seven chapter. Okay. Okay. See, I can just take the class like that only. But uh, these particular things, I want you to keep it in your mind forever and ever. Okay, that's the reason okay, I'm asking questions. Yeah. So, so, Alexander much. Great. So, Greece and the Grecians are very famous for knowledge. The Aristotle, great philosopher. You see, the Galileo, all these were from the Grecian Empire. And the Bible also says in Corinthians, the Greeks seek for knowledge. So, actually, the Grecians are very intelligent people. So that means here the paper C, the Antichrist is shown to be like a leopard means what? Its body is full of knowledge means they are very, very intelligent, they are very smart, they are very wise. Therefore, if you see that horn, the little horn on the head, it had eyes of a man. Eyes means what? Understanding. Eyes of a man means worldly understanding, worldly wisdom. You see, worldly knowledge. You see, that's what... Uh, clearly it says uh, that's why the papers here are so intelligent that uh, they have committed a lot of mistakes but even today nobody can red handly catch them that is the character so wise worldly wise okay now in revelation it says the second his feet was like a bear correct brother read continue yeah uh, as the feet of a beer. Ah, feet and his feet with as the feet of a beer. Very good, brother. Bear means which uh, empire, if you see in the Daniel 7 chapter, there's a second animal. So that is the Medo Persian Empire. Now, why do you compare to a bear? Because bear, if it decides to catch something, it won't keep quite at all. So even if you climb a tree, even if you climb a mountain, even if you dive inside the water, it will come anywhere. So, there is no way to escape from a bear at all. The only possible way to escape is that you should lie dead. So, this is with the character of the Medo-Persian Empire. Sundru to them. Once if they decide to conquer any kingdom, they won't leave at all, brother. This is the character of uh, whom? Uh, papacy system. Papacy system, if they decide that it has to be done, that they will do it. There is no way that you can escape from paper system. Therefore, so many people were slaughtered and persecuted and killed. Okay, therefore, the hands, the clutches, the system is like that, that nobody can escape from it. Therefore, if you see, nobody, a Roman Catholic, come for the Bible study. Have you ever seen uh, mm -hmm. Roman Catholic sitting and reading the Bible? No, they won't test them. They're very religious, holy, pious, everything. But they don't test the Bible, they don't read the Bible at all. Tell them to offer prayers, they don't know. You see why? Because they are in the grip of that paper C. The third, huh? the mouth, how was the mouth? Lion. Lion. Why lion? Because lion is the king of the jungle. You know, the lion's roaring is heard for a far of two kilometers, it seems. It's so powerful that uh, when the lion roars, the prey will automatically come and fall in its uh, front, it seems. So, it easily lion can catch the prey. That is his trick. So, the roaring of the lion. That means what? The proclamation of papacy. They boasted so much huh? against God. They thought that they are very God himself. That is the boast. That is the reason the mouth is compared to a lion. Not hand or feet or leg, anything. It means what? Uh, the proclamation of papacy. The false doctrines. Imagine. Today, many are believing this fast doctrine only. The soul doesn't die. Huh? Then the Lord Supper, huh? Easter egg, huh? Good Friday. Where is it there? Even today, you see the proclamation, the sound is still alive. Every Many of the Christians believe that one. You know? This is what. Uh, and the fourth is the beast. Uh, the dragon gave the power. Dragon means what? Roman Empire. Therefore, Roman government only gave the power to the paper system. Therefore, it became Roman Catholic. Now, read verse 3, brother. What happened? Revelation 13, 3, brother. Huh? And I saw one of his heads as it was wounded to death. And his deadly wound was healed and all the world wonders after the beast. You see, they had so many heads now. Suddenly, one head was wounded, it seems, so deadly that it was supposed to die. The entire beast was supposed to die but what happened? Uh, 
he did not die it seems he got revived it got healed you see now how did it, uh, it get hurt read verse 14 brother read verse 14 and and de deceive them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast revelation 13 14 ah, correct i think have, read 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 read, read. Read, read, uh, come later. Sing uh -huh. to them that dwell on the earth, and they should make an image to the beast which had the wounds by a sword and die live. Ah, and did live. You should read clearly. Huh? So it says, That's what right. it says? Huh? His head was wounded by a sword. Correct? Huh? Yeah. So sword means what? God's words. So, when did this head got uh, wounded, if you see, it was during the Martin Luther. When Martin Luther revolted against the paper system and claimed and he, he completely, you see, huh, destroyed all the doctrines of papers. He, you see, even in one week, the entire France, entire Germany was converted to, you see, the Protestants. Uh, the entire churches in Germany in just one week were totally destroyed. Why? Because of the claims of Martin Luther. That wound upon the head of the papacy was so great that papacy was supposed to die then only. But unfortunately, it did not die. It got healed. Why? Because, you see, once the Protestants also began to believe in the same teachings, wrong teachings of uh, the Antichrist, the papacy, automatically what happened? Uh, the wound got healed. You see, therefore, there is no great difference between the Roman Catholic and the Protestants. The only one difference is idol worship. They do idol worship. Here yeah, they don't do idol worship. That's the only difference. Based of all the things, everything is false doctrine only. Therefore, it had got, uh, you see what happened to it? it seems, uh, the head uh, got uh, healed and immediately, you see, huh? and uh, it became back to life. Okay. Now, let us skip to the main point here because uh, there's so many things are there which uh, I don't think you'll be able to uh, grasp it properly. So we will see um, verse uh, 13, brother. Read verse 13, brother. Huh? 13, 13, right, brother? Mm, correct. 13, 13. And he, and he does great wonders so that he make fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Ah, you see? He make so many wonders, it seems, sir. Such way that even the fire will come down from heaven, it seems, sir. That means what? Uh, this is speaking of the great miracles. Therefore, yeah, we have studied about the miracles, tongues and all the subject and all. See, there was a time that when all these things were, were done by God. But now, what miracles and all these things are happening, this is not by God. Because this is the time of the papacy where is falling. And hence, this is the time that he will counterfeit all, you see, sorts of... Uh, Miracles and all, try to deceive as many Christians as possible. That's what the Bible says. And ye shall do the great, Antichrist shall do great wonders uh, in sight of all men. Then continue with that. Uh, verse 14. Uh. And deceive them that dwell on the earth by the mean of those miracles. Ah, which he had. How will he deceive? He will deceive everybody because of the miracles. Now today, Protestants, uh, they believe in Jesus. Why? Because of miracles, because of blessings, correct? No, how else will they believe? No, so what is the difference between the Roman Catholic and the Protestants? No difference, they are doing idol worship here without doing idol worship, they are believing only because of miracles. No, not that we should not believe, you see, we should believe, but what is the reason that you are believing on Christ? Not because of miracles, that's what uh, these miracles are done by you see, whom the great antichrist system. Now, Buddha, continue, Buddha. Huh? Mirac of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast which had the one by a sword and did live. Mm. What did they do? That we should make an image of the beast. Huh? Why? So that, you see, everybody may worship it. Uh, what was the beast? Uh, the 
which had the wound by the sword and did the leave. Then continue with the verse 15. Uh. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak in the cause that as many as one not receive the image of the beast should be killed. Mm. You see, he should also speak like what? Like the beast only it seems. Uh. That means uh, this is speaking about the future uh, alliance uh, where uh, you see uh, the Protestants and the, the Catholics will join together and uh, they will form a beast uh, so that who doesn't worship those systems, they shall be persecuted. Now verse uh, 16, brother. Uh. And he caused all both small and great, rich and poor, free and born, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Ah, you see? So what will he do with him, sir? Huh? He will cause all the small, the great, the rich and the poor to receive a mark in their right hand and in their forehead. So where will they put the mark? In their head, in their Hand, it seems. Right hand on the forehead. Uh, continue with the verse next. Uh. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Uh, so that if uh, anybody doesn't have this, uh, you see, number on the seal on their head or their hand, they are not permitted to buy or sell. So only those who have this mark will be allowed to buy and sell. Hmm? And what is this mark? This is the name of the beast or the number of his name. See, the clue is given there only. What is this uh, mark? This is not a literal mark, six, six, but this six. is the name of the beast. What? This is the name of the beast or the number of uh, his name. Now, what is that one? Read verse 18, brother. Huh? Here is wisdom. Let him that has understanding count the number of the beast. Or, or it is the number of a man. And his number is 600, 3 score and 6. Ah, you see? Now, here the answer is given in this verse itself. It says, here is the wisdom. Let him that has understanding... Huh? Count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is uh, 603 score and 6. That means 666. Six, six. Huh? Six, so, is it a literal number? No. I also, I am so confusing on this number. Ah, I, remember remember things, uh, uh, I have read about, uh, I had watched one video also. And uh, the mathematical video, how how the number of the beast is six six six. No, ah. uh, but I don't got clearly. Ah. See, everybody thinks it's literal six six six. No, no, no. What does it say? It says, huh? Let him that has understanding count the number of the beast. What they should do? Count the number of count the. the number. That means there is a number that has to be calculated. And what is this number? Yeah. Read verse 17, brother. What is this number? Huh. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the mark of the beast or the number of his name. Ah, what about the number of his name? name? That means his name is having a number. Correct, no? Yeah. Uh -huh. That means... There is a number in his name. That is triple six. No, okay. Now, what is his name? What is the name of the beast? Paper C. Now, what is, now in paper C, how can we calculate triple six? If you see, the great antichrist system has various names. That is called as titles. In all the titles, there is one title which is very, very important for the Pope. Now, what is the title that is called as Vicarious Fili D? What is called as Vicarious Fili D? This is a Latin word. What is the meaning of this word? It means instead of Christ. You see, Vicarious Fili D. Vicarious, Vicar. Huh? 
Vikara means what? Instead. Like we have Vice Sergeant, Vice President. Correct now? Vice Prime ah. Minister. What do you mean by Vice Prime Minister? Vice President means if the President expires, immediately the yeah. position will go to whom? President, uh, Prime Minister. Vice President. If the President expires, the position will come yeah, to yeah. whom? Vice President, Vice ah, Prime Minister, then he so, will leave, no? Correct. So, Vice President means instead of President. So, similarly, Vicarious Spirit means what? The meaning is instead of God's Son. That means Jesus, God's Son is not there on the earth. So, instead of Him, we are there. Second Thessalonians, second chapter. Huh? Verse 5, 6, 7. What did he say? He will sit as God. He will claim all worship of God and sit as God in the God's temple. This is what the papers he did. He claimed to be God's son on this earth and claim all the title of Jesus to himself and that everybody should worship him. And this is the very important title, brother. See, at the entrance of the Vatican City also, this title is put Vicarious Folidae. Even in the crown of the Pope, this title is put. That's why it says, this is the name of the beast. Where do you put the name? You put the label on the head or in the tail? A head or uh, head in the hand. Head only. You see, if you have any vehicle, the head only, <laughs> that will be the board. If you go inside the out, yeah. the board will be on the head. If you go inside the city, the arch, uh, the head, the name. So similarly, the papers is name. This is his name. Vicarious Fleeting. So, okay. In this one, how can we calculate uh, 666? If you see, we know Roman numericals. For each and every Roman uh, uh, numericals, there is a meaning. Correct, no? For, in, for uh, English alphabets, there is a Roman numerical. Correct, no, brother? Yeah, Correct, yeah, no? Yeah. 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 Ah, it is there. Correct, now For each and every. See, we studied this one in the school. Now, let us see. Vicarious Felidi. See, this is the spelling. V I C A R I U S F I L I I D E I. Okay. Now, yeah. in Roman numericals, V means what? Five. Very good. I means? One. Very good. C means? Hundred, yeah. Very good. See, A, it doesn't have any number, so it's zero. Okay. R also, I don't know about it. Yeah, R also, zero. There's no, there's no, nothing is there. It's zero. Okay? Again, I. I yeah. means what? One. U one. means what? Huh? U, five. I don't know about it. Ah, U, V, and all five. Okay? So, S means zero. So, Vicarious means total how much will come? 112. Yeah. Hmm, you, you, you got it? 112, yeah. Hmm, five plus one, six. Six plus 100, 106. Yeah. 107, 107 plus 5, 112. Okay? Yeah. Philly. Philly means what? F means 0. I means 1. L means? 50, yeah. Uh, I means again 1. I means again 1. So, 53. Yeah. Now, D. D means what? 500. 500, yeah. E means 0. I means 1. So, how much it becomes? 5 not? 1. Yeah. So, 112 plus 53, how much? 1. 60? Uh, 165. Very good. 165 plus 501? Uh, 666, yeah. Correct. This is the number. So, therefore, Revelation says, this is not a little thing. He that has understanding, let him calculate in the name of the beast. Therefore, this uh, actually represents uh, the title of uh, the paper C. So, what does it say? If any man has that seal, only they will be allowed to sell and buy means what? This is not literal going and purchasing any grocery or vegetables from the market. This is spiritual buying and taking. So, what does that one means? Huh? One who has this triple six seal, only they will be allowed to purchase only they will be allowed to sell. That means what? Only they will be allowed to sell God's words, speak God's words. Only they will be allowed to purchase 
God's words. Therefore, you see, eh, having the seal on the head means what? Head means more, not little head. Head means what? We tell now, you, you don't have head at all. Eh? Some people tell now, brother, school teacher, while scolding, she will tell now, you don't have head at all. What do you have in your head? Teacher will tell now. Correct now, brother? Yeah. yeah, yeah, brother. So head means what? Understanding. Where is the understanding? Yeah. That means one who has uh, this understanding or uh, who accepts the false doctrines of Antichrist system like hell, soul, uh, trinity, the Lord Supper, the baptism, all these false doctrines. Uh, you see, if they still believe it, that means we are accepting the false doctrines of that system. Then we ourselves are having this seal on our head. Not that Satan will come and literally punch our seal. Nobody will take this seal literally. This is the deception of the devil. Satan is trying to deceive the all Christians by making them believe that this is a literal seal. No, this is not a literal seal. Those who have this seal, those who believe these false doctrines only, they are only given the chances in big, big churches. Have you seen or have you heard this truth anywhere, brother, in your life? Actually, this truth I haven't heard before. You can't hear it also. Because we don't have license to buy and sell. Because we don't have the seal on our head and our hand. That is the reason. Got it, brother? You go to any Bible society, you'll get everything. You'll get all the false teachings. But you won't get these yeah. teachings. Why? Because only those who have will be allowed, given permission in the spiritual market to trade. See, we, the real, uh, you see, the truth-speaking uh, Christians who speak out from the Bible are never given. Why? Because this is totally banished. You don't get it anywhere, brother. This is God only with the interest and with the Holy Spirit. Only those who have the rise and years of understanding, only those can understand this truth. Not everybody. You you are seen. See, how many people are coming, brother? You are seen how many people are coming. But now, how many, how many are there? Mm -hmm. hmm? That is the truth. Because Hunglu has this one. No. If you have this seal, we are not allowed to speak God's words at all. Because you see, hand means what again? Hand means what? Huh? Supporting the system. Huh? After knowing the truth, if we keep on still supporting the system, evil system, huh? evil system, what means? Then what, what will happen now? Huh? If you lend on support, Huh? Hand means water. We will tell no brother, please give me a hand. Give me a hand means water. Help uh, supporting the system. After knowing the truth, supporting the system in any way is against God's will. We are not supposed to do it. What does the Bible say? Only those who have this one are allowed to do transaction. But those who don't have this one, they don't have any spiritual you see, activity, you know, they might have blocked this truth from the world. But you know, in God's sight, this is the seal that is to be avoided. We should not have this seal. Then which seal we should have? Read. Revelation chapter 20, verse 4, brother. Revelation chapter 20, verse, verse 4. 4. One who has the triple six seal, they are not allowed to reign with Christ. Revelation chapter 20, verse 4. Okay, brother. 20 verse 4 is written here. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the soul of them that were beheaded for the wit witness of Jesus and for the word of God, word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon his, their forehead or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Ah, they did not worship the beast. Underline, brother. Worship the beast may not. Accept them. Acknowledge them. Neither his image, neither did they receive the mark upon their forehead means what? Did not even accept or understand their doctrine. Did not give their mind for their doctrines. Or did not have the seal on their hands means what? Neither supported the civil system in any way. If they have been supported, they are not going to reign with Christ. Uh, if you want to reign with Christ, then we should not have this seal. Would you like to reign with Christ or not, brother? Yeah, of course. Then we should not I have, have a full yes. desire. 
very good then you should not have this seal we should never acknowledge this false doctrines of the system we should never lend our support to, to any of these false systems these are all against god you know which is the seal we should have read revelation 14 1 mm. 14 1 mm. okay brother and i look and lo a lamb stood on the mount Sion, and with him and 140 and 400 having his father's name written in their forehead. Ah, what's name brother? Which name is written on their forehead? Which is the seal? 144. That is the seal. Read the verse properly. And I looked and lo a lamb stood on the Mount Sion and with, with him and 140 and 400 the 4,000 uh, one and hundred forty and four thousand, hmm. having well, his father's name written in their foreheads. On their head, what was written? Father's name. Ah, very good, brother. That means one lakh forty four thousand. Did you remember one lakh forty four thousand? Yeah. You know the yeah, subject. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. Ah, if we want to be of that one lakh forty four thousand. Father's name should be written means what? Father's name is what? Father's character. God's character should be there in our mind, not this worldly false doctrines and all. What is brother? Yeah, brother. Uh, so this is the number of what? Antichrist. This is not a literal number. Okay. This is a accept in the false doctrine of the system. Okay? Yeah, brother. Okay. We'll stop it here. Any questions? Any doubts? You can ask.